Hey guys, welcome back to Tala's Cosplay Vlog. I'm Tala and apparently it's Geek Week on YouTube, so I decided to make a video. Um, I just want to quick, not really quickly, <laughs> this might be a long video, but I want to talk about um, how I got into cosplay, why I do it, the good things about cosplay, in case you want to show this video to people that may not understand why you do it, or people that want to get into it but maybe they feel like people are going to look down on them because of it. Show this video and hopefully this will help break the barrier. It, I know it's a silly thing to think, but hey, give it a chance, right? So reasons why I cosplay, well, I have a lot of really amazing artistic friends. And I have always been artistic in ways. Um, like my drawings are kind of poop. And my paintings are kind of poop. And, well, I just never, like, had that... All of my artistic friends that draw and paint and do online work, um, like, they have... I've always seen this, like, spark in them. I've always seen this passion that comes out in them when they're doing the something that they love. And I've never, like, I never really felt that. And whenever I compared my work to their work, I saw, well, A, a really big like learning gap between their work and mine, because, yeah. Um, but that was okay to me. Like, I never had that passion, so I was never driven to make myself better in that field. Until uh, in middle school, I did this Japanese language project about uh, street fashion and the convention subculture in Japan. And then I realized that these convention things happen pretty much everywhere. And then I saw a cosplay for the first time online and was just amazed, like just amazed at like the styles and the ability of these people to get these two-dimensional characters and make them real. And, like, it just sparked something in me that I got really interested in and I thought it was really neat. So, um, I got my grandmother to help me make a Princess Mononoke costume. It was my first costume, first time sewing, um, and a lot of, like, I used paper mache to make the mask and then hot glued fabric to the paper mache ears and then hot glued the white fur thing to the ears and it was it was an interesting experience like my grandmother taught me about patterns and how they work and why they work the way they do and taught me about fabrics and it was just a really bonding experience with me and my grandmother which like I'm our relationship has never been bad but I think if I didn't have cosplay or my costuming side of me, I don't actually think that we would be as close as we actually are now. And I've stopped, um, she stopped helping me quite a while ago because her fingers are getting numb and she's getting on in years. She's 92 now. And, but we're always, she's, she always talks to me like, Oh, have you tried this way? Or have you thought about doing it this way if I'm having trouble with my costumes? And it's just this amazing bonding and experience with me and my gran. And I will never be able to costume without thinking of her. Um, sorry, I got <laughs> really sappy really fast there. <laughs> um, but yeah, cosplay sparked an interest in me that I never knew I had. I never knew this passion for making something, being crafty, and seeing my work actually come out the way I want it to, or working so hard on something and then having someone else say, oh, that's really neat, how did you do that? It's just always been something like, I want to share this with other people. I want to, I don't know, this might be weird. <laughs> But that's why I make my YouTube videos, is I want to share my experiences and my skills, lack thereof, <laughs> with you guys. Because I want to help you guys and girls learn 
and be passionate about your costumes because I find it really fun. You know, keep having fun and keep cosplaying, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye!